I'm calling it thousand layers of potatoes. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Today we are tackling a dish that is as old as the 1700s. At least this is how far as we can go to find traces of it. And at the time it was served with autolon, which is like a little bird which you can eat the entire body. It's pretty gross, never had it. But anyway, it's a delicacy. We are making pomme dauphinoise, potato dauphinoise. However you call it, it's potatoes, layered and layered and layered and layered times a million and in between we have some delicious nutmeg rich cream with some butter infused with garlic and thyme it takes time but you gotta believe me this is going to be one of the best side dish you'll ever make two things remains to be done for us to get cooking and for you to smash the subscribe button let's go So first we're gonna take a saucepan and we're gonna place our milk and our cream half and half. We're gonna get garlic and quite a few cloves because it has to be garlicky, okay? We're gonna crush them and peel them. Same thing with the shallot, which will then dice. Don't have to be too precise, it's going to infuse. We're gonna add some thyme, some rosemary and some nutmeg, a good chunk of butter, and we're gonna place that on the heat. And it's going to be on low simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes with some salt and pepper. Then grab a dish of your choice for cooking the potato. I'm using a third pan and I'm gonna try to place my parchment paper. And you might have issue before where you cannot fit it in. So we're just gonna cut the corners and you're going to see that it's going to fit right in. Unlike me back at college. Anyway, let's talk about the potato. I'm using a rosette. I think it's the perfect potato for that because of the starch. And we're going to peel them all and place them in water so they don't get brown and darkened. Okay, we're gonna keep an eye on our Infusion, which is perfect. I'm going to pass it through a sieve so we only have that delicious infused cream and we can discard the aromatics. Next, we're gonna grab a Japanese mandolin, okay? And we're gonna sit it on as, as thin as possible. Very, very important. You see this? You can see through. We'll then wash a table and set up our dish and start layering them and make sure they are one over the other so they create almost like a wall of potatoes, if that makes sense. We'll season them with some pepper, salt, nutmeg, and we add our cream, a little bit of the cream. And we'll keep on doing that all the way to the top. Every three layers, I will be adding some cheese and we'll repeat the process all the way to the top, making sure we only slice one potato at the time. When we're at the top, we're gonna press it, make sure it's nice and even and there's enough cream. We'll then cover it with more parchment paper, then some tin foil, make sure it's nicely enclosed so it doesn't go everywhere and we'll place it on the tray. All right, it's now going to cook for four hours at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, so we have time to go for a nap and uh, dream about potatoes. See you in a bit. Four hours later. All right, the moment of truth has arrived. We are gonna take the tin foil off and we're gonna plant a knife through it. It should go super easy and come out clean. Otherwise it's not cooked and you should cook it a little bit longer. I'm going to place more parchment paper and then another tray over top and we're gonna press it slightly, then add some can and we're gonna leave it in the fridge overnight to press. All right, you can totally enjoy the potatoes as is, serve them right away, there's no problem with it. The reason why I'm pressing them is because I like to do my dauphinois over two days. I'm going to press them as I showed you earlier. So tomorrow they're gonna have like a really tight like layers and then I'm gonna crease them up. So we're gonna have a super soft inside and a super crispy outside. I'm so excited and I hope you are. So I'll see you on day number two. The next morning. All right, it's time for us to unmold that beautiful little potato cake and remove the paper and see our work. We're gonna take a slice off and look at those layers. I am so happy and excited. We're gonna trim it off, make sure it's nice and rectangle. Then we're gonna cut some pavé and I'm gonna do two, but you can do eight out of this one tray. Then we're gonna crease them up, the fun part. In a non-stick pan with a bit of oil on medium high, I'm going to place my pavé as well as some butter, some thyme, some garlic, some rosemary, and we're gonna crease them up on each side, okay? When we are happy with that golden brown color, giving them some love, oh, look at that beautiful butter. I will then take them off the pan and place them on the tray into the oven at 350 for about five to 10 minutes, just to make sure they are nice and warm inside. I will then brush some more butter and just plate them and, you know what is next. 
And here we have it, a delicious side of potatoes. They are so versatile, this is why I love them. This one is so decadent and you can accompany them or eat them on their own, which is what I'm going to do. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like, comment and subscribe and you'll find it in the description below to know how to do it, okay? You know the drill, I'm about to try them. So I will catch you on the next episode. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button.